Good morning everyone, it's the 22nd of October, 2023 and you're tuned into Hot Topic and Fresh News. We dive right into today's top news. A missile strike on a postal distribution center in Kharkiv, eastern Ukraine, has led to the tragic death of six workers, with 16 others suffering injuries. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that the Nova Pashto sorting office was the unfortunate target of this attack, believed to have been executed using an S-300 rocket. Images of the site show a building with blown-out windows. Local authorities are on the scene and a rescue operation is underway. The victims, all employees of the postal company, range in age from 19 to 42, some bearing shrapnel wounds. The regional governor emphasized that this attack on a strictly civilian site is another act of terror inflicted on Kharkiv's peaceful citizens. Russia remains silent on this alleged strike. Meanwhile, in response to the ongoing conflict, Kharkiv's mayor announced plans to build Ukraine's first underground school to ensure the safety of children attending in-person education. In the south, Ukraine continues a counter-offensive campaign with the aim of severing Russia's land corridor to the Crimean Peninsula. Stay tuned to Hot Topic and Fresh News for more updates on these pressing issues. Hello listeners, this is Emily here. And I'm David. We're here every day on Hot Topic and Fresh News. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now, straight to the Hot Topics. Moving forward, the strike on the Nova Pashto sorting office occurred just before 10.30 local time, according to police reports. Of the 22 people inside the building, six have tragically lost their lives while a further 16 are dealing with injuries. The authorities, including forensic experts, are currently examining the bodies of the deceased. Could you tell us more about the injuries sustained by the survivors? Yes, of course. Regional Governor Sini Hubov has disclosed that the injured victims, who ranged in age from 19 to 42, suffered from shrapnel wounds due to the blast. He also noted that seven of them are in a moderate condition, while the remaining seven men are in a serious condition. What measures are being taken in the wake of these attacks? In response to the ongoing conflict, Kharkiv's mayor has announced plans to construct Ukraine's first underground school. This approach is being taken to ensure the safety of children attending in-person education. And what about on the geopolitical front? Since June, Ukraine has been conducting a counter-offensive campaign in the south with an aim to sever Russia's land corridor to the Crimean Peninsula, which was unlawfully annexed by Russia in the year of 2014. However, the progress has been slow and has only resulted in limited territorial gains. Wrapping up on this topic, it's important to note that the counteroffensive from Ukraine has been an uphill battle. Progress seems slow and territorial gains have been limited so far. These are difficult times indeed. I suppose the global community is waiting to see what happens next. That's right. We'll continue to keep a close eye on the evolving situation and bring updates to our listeners as we receive them. We want to thank all of you for joining us on today's episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News. We delved into the pressing issues of the Ukraine conflict, and your presence and interest contribute to meaningful, informed discussions. We genuinely appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe and activate your notifications so you won't miss out on our latest episodes. Share our podcast with your circles and let's deepen the conversation. Your likes, comments, and shares matter to us. Well, that's all for today, folks. Remember we bring you in-depth analysis and news coverage every day, so don't forget to stick around. And oh, I promise, no spoilers, but we've got something fascinating lined up for you in the future. Again, thank you for spending your time with us today. We look forward to having you again on the next episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News. And remember, David and Emily, stay in the loop, Keep your eyes on the news, our channel's content will amuse.